Hello and welcome everybody to my channel Lumini Bio Entrance and today we will be discussing Central University's Common Entrance Test Question Paper for MSc Entrance Exam for the subject Plan Biotechnology conducted in the year 13th March 2024. If you are new to my channel, please do like, share and subscribe. If you want still previous year question papers of Plan Biotechnology, you can go to my channel Lumini Bio Entrance. In the playlist, select CUCET and there you will find. Coming to the first question. Very often, plants produce undifferentiated mass of cells at the site of a wound which is known as. So, it is called as the callus. It is undifferentiated mass of cells. So, 3 is the answer. Root culture is used to produce. It is used to produce alkaloids. Answer is option 2. These are direct question. That's why I am not explaining much. Synthetic seeds are. So, synthetic seeds we have discussed already in the 2023 question paper. So, there I have told that synthetic seeds are encapsulated embryos. They can grow, uh, germinate into a new plant. So, first option if you see somatic embryos encapsulated in matrix. So, that is the answer. Answer is option 1. Then polyphenolic compounds are oxidized by polyphenol oxidases in the plant. Result in darkening and spoilage of explants while performing tissue culture. Yes, the procedure used to overcome this tissue issue include. So, there are. In tissue culture, if you use mango for tissue culture, you can see the medium becoming brown in color. So, how can you overcome this browning? This is by polyphenolic compound oxidized by polyphenol oxidases that result in this browning. So, first one, adding antioxidant to the culture medium. That is correct. Pre-soaking explants in antioxidants, yes. Adding ascorbic acid in the medium, yes. Frequently transferring explant to fresh media, yes. So, A, B, C, D all are correct. Answer is option 3. Endosperm culture is useful for the development of. So, it is for, it is endosperm is 3N. It is triploid. So, it can be used for the development of triploid plants. Answer is option 3. Cytokinins are. So, what are derivatives of adenines? Yes. Are important for shoot induction? Yes. Have property cell elongation? No. Use usually promote cell division if added together with auxin in the culture? Yes. So, A, B and D answer is option 2. Then match the following. Type of plant tissue culture and application. Seed culture. Seed culture is generating plants of small seeds having less food reserve. A3. Okay, that is there only in option 1, but we will see. B4. Anther culture. Haploid production. Yes. Endosperm culture. Endosperm culture development of seedless fruit. C, C1. Protoplast culture using for do, uh, genetic manipulation easily in plants. So, A1, uh, sorry, D2. So, the answer here is option 1. A3, B4, C1 and D2. Then, enzymes used for protoplast isolation and their source. Cellulase is obtained from trichoderma, A2. A2 is there only in option 4. So, 4 must be the answer. Then, helicase, helix species. B4, uh, Zymolase, uh, Arthobacter species and Macerase, it is from Rhizopus species. So, 4 is the answer. A2, B4, C3 and D1. Then you have to match crop with somaclonal variants obtained. Rice, somaclonal variants, sterility mutants, A3. A3 is there only in option 2. So, that must be the answer. B4, maize. That is glyphosate resistance. Carrot, 
ഹൈ കരോട്ടീൻ കണ്ടെന്റ് വീറ്റ് ഗ്രീൻ കളർ സോ എ ത്രീ ബി ഫോർ സി വൺ ഡി ടു ആൻസർ ഇസ് ഓപ്ഷൻ ടു ഫേസസ് ഓഫ് പ്ലാന്റ് സെൽസ് ഇൻ കൾച്ചർ ആൻഡ് ചേഞ്ചസ് ഇൻ ദ ഗ്രോത്ത് പാറ്റേൺ സോ ലാഗ് ഫേസ് സെൽസ് പ്രിപ്പയർ ടു ഡിവൈഡ് എ ത്രീ എക്സ്പോണൻഷ്യൽ ഫേസ് ഹയസ്റ്റ് റേറ്റ് ഓഫ് സെൽ ഡിവിഷൻ ബി ഫോർ ലീനിയർ ഫേസ് സെൽ ഡിവിഷൻ സ്ലോസ് ബട്ട് സെൽ എക്സ്പാൻഷൻ ഇൻക്രീസസ് സി ടു ഡിസിലറേഷൻ ഫേസ് റേറ്റ് ഓഫ് സെൽ ഡിവിഷൻ ആൻഡ് ഡിലോങ്ങേഷൻ ഡിക്രീസസ് So, answer is option 1. A3, B4, C2 and D1. The next one. Shoot tip culture is performed through the following steps. Shoot tip culture. Okay, first will be shoot tip collection from the plant. A. Then... primary culture of the tip d then axillary shoot proliferation and finally rooting of the shoots so a d b c answer is option 3 different steps for regeneration via organogenesis what is the correct sequence so initial explant c okay c is there only in option 4 but we will read and see then comes callus formation yes then comes shoot formation yes shoot development from the callus then plantlet d so c b a d answer is option 4 following steps are used in bergman cell plating technique so bergman cell plating technique it is used to isolate and culture individual cells so first will be cell suspension d okay d is there only in option 1 then comes uh, passing cells through gauge a then mixing cells with molten agar medium b and plating cells in petri dish c so first option that is a d a b c is the answer then next one in vitro technique to produce haploids are used to generate so haploids can be used to generate homozygous lines two the chromosome number of a haploid plant can be doubled using colchicin answer is option 3 different plant tissue culture methods used to produce haploids which are which are the methods embryo as well as root culture they cannot give rise to haploids they are diploids microspore okay can give rise to haploid but shoot culture cannot give rise to haploid ampere as well as microspore yes that can be used for the production of haploids anther as well as meristem culture anther okay but not meristem so answer is option 3 development of haploid plants from male gametophytic tissue is known as it is known as androgenesis answer is option 1 gynogenesis is formation of embryos from unfertilized egg cells it can be used for the haploid production but not male gametophytic tissue here the question is specifically for male gametophytic tissue so it is androgenesis then organogenesis is formation of organs from undifferentiated cells and morphogenesis is the development of the whole plant then next one when anthers containing microspores are at the middle or late uninucleate stage are cultured on solid medium then they form they form callus answer is option 4 Microspores may give rise to plants having one extra chromosome half half the number of chromosome answer is option 2 problem of mixoploidy associated with anther culture was overcome by so mixoploidy it is the presence of cells with different ploidy levels within the same culture 
that is called as mixoploidy and mixoploidy occurs when uh, haploid pollen grains undergo embryogenesis spontaneous doubling of the haploid chromosome and chromosome replication without cell division all these cases mixoploidy occurs so problem of mixoploidy associated with anther culture was overcome by microspore culture so microspore culture can give rise to haploid plants anther culture also give rise to haploid plants but there is problem called as mixoploidy that is presence of cells with different ploidy levels within the same culture then next one gynogenic embryogenesis can be developed by culturing ovary and root ovary okay but not root ovule and anther anther is not gynogenic microspore and ovary oh, microspore is not gynogenic ovary and ovule so four is the answer then chromosome elimination technique was established for the production of so chromosome elimination means it is the selective loss of chromosome from one parent this chromosome elimination technique they have asked in 2003 question paper also so chromosome elimination technique was established for the production of haploids then next one for the development of diploid plantlets the order of tissue culture steps will be so first will be collection of flowers b then isolation of culture of anthers c then comes development of haploid plantlets then colchicine treatment resulting in diploids so b c a d answer is option 4 then different steps involved in the elimination of chromosomes in serial through plant tissue culture so first will be crossing then comes chromosome elimination then comes embryo culture and then comes monoploid plant development so the answer here is option 3 that is c b a d next one homozygous lines developed through anther culture can be analyzed to check their ploidy status through okay after you develop the homozygous lines from anther culture you can check the ploidy status how they have asked the color of the flowers it doesn't give any result on ploidy counting of plastids in stomata that can give because chloroplast number in the guard cell is correlated with the ploidy level if it is diploid then there will be 8 to 12 chloroplast per guard cell if it is tetraploid then there will be 16 to 24 chloroplast per guard cell if it is haploid it will be 4 to 8 chloroplast per guard cell so answer here will be 3 that is b c d only answer is option 3 the next one in plant tissue culture uh, and the related method or process example ploidy level checking plastid number in stomata yes a3 we just now discussed that then uh, b diploidization endomitosis exclusive generation of male x plant that is haploid induction gynogenic plants morus indica so the answer here is option 2 that is a3 b4 c2 and d1 